Good day everyone. Today I'm going to discuss example 2 on statical stability of floating bodies. So here's the problem. A rectangular scow, 9 meters wide, 15 meters long, and 3.6 meters high has a draft in seawater of specific gravity 1.03 of 2.4 meters. Its center of gravity is 2.7 meters above the bottom of the scow. So determine the following. First, the initial metacentric height. The metacentric height when the scow tilts until one side is on the point of submergence. And number three, the writing or overturning moment for the case of part two above. So let's draw the details. So B is the base width is 9 meters. Then height 3.6, the draft 2.4 meters in seawater. So for the initial metacentric height, so let's locate the center of buoyancy first, which is 1.2 meters or half of 2.4 from the bottom. So the initial metacentric height is MBO initial minus GBO. So this is the center of buoyancy, 1.2 meters from the bottom. The center of gravity is 2.7 from the bottom. And let's assume meta center to be above so that the scow is stable. So this is 2.7. So that GBO is 2.7 minus uh, 1.2, so 1.5 meters. So the initial metacentric height for rectangular parallel piped bodies is B square over 12D. So supposedly times quantity 1 plus tangent square theta over 2. But theta is 0 for this upright position. So it reduces to B square over 12D for rectangular parallel piped bodies. So substituting 9 square over 12 times 2.4. So the initial, metas, uh, initial BO MBO is 2.8125 meters. So we can now compute the initial metacentric height, 2.8125 minus 1.5 GBO. So the initial metacentric height is 1.3125 meters. For question number two, the metacentric height when the scout tilts until one side is on the point of submergence. So it tilts, so this is now the point of submergence. And because the height is of the scout is 3.6, Minus the draft 2.4, so this is 1.2 meters. The wedge of immersion height 1.2. And this is the point of symmetry, so half of 9 is 4.5. So the BO is here. It now shifts to BO prime. Then this is now the new position of the meta center because MBO is expected to increase a little because of the tilting. And uh, because the waterline section is now increased, it is greater than the upright position. Than in the upright position. So this is the tilting angle theta. This is also the angle theta. So tangent of theta is 1.2 over, this is 4.5 meters. So mg is mbo minus GBO. GBO is still 1.5 <coughs> but MBO this time is quantity B square over 12D times the quantity 1 plus tangent square theta over 2. From the figure tangent of theta is 1.2 over 4.5 which reduces to 4 over 15 or the angle theta in degrees is 14.93 degrees. So having found tangent theta, let's substitute it here. So MBO is 9 square over 12 times 2.4, quantity 1 plus 4 over 15 square over 2. So MBO is 2.9125 meters. As expected, it increases a little by a slight amount. So 2.9125 meters. So the metacentric height in the tilted position is 2.9125 minus 1.5 meters. So that the metacentric height in the tilted position is 1.4125 meters. Since metacentric height is 
positive or metacenter is above G, therefore the couple that develops between the buoyant force and the weight is writing moment or writing couple. So the writing couple is simply buoyant force times the moment arm between the weight and the buoyant force which is mg sine theta. This horizontal distance here is mg sine theta opposite. So buoyant force times mg sine theta where the buoyant force is specific weight of seawater 1.03 times specific weight of water 9.81 kN per cubic meter times the volume submerged which is 9 times 2.4 times 15. So 1.03, 9.21, quantity 9 times 2.4 times 15. That's the volume displaced or submerged. 3,273.79 kilonewtons. Finally, substitute into this expression for writing moment. So 3,273.79 times 1.4125 sine of 14.93 degrees. So the writing moment is 1191.38 kilonewton meter or to four significant figures, 1191 kilonewton meter. So that's it for this problem, and I hope that you were able to follow the solution.